Welcome everyone to this video. Today I'm going to walk you through how to use Bluetooth here in Windows 11. This will include how to add slash pair a device with your computer, but also how to troubleshoot in case you are running into problems. The first thing you want to do is come down here to the Windows Start button and just right click. Go to Device Manager. Now the first thing you want to do is just verify that Bluetooth is on this list. This is just to make sure that your computer does have Bluetooth. If it does not, you can buy a USB Bluetooth dongle. They're pretty cheap. You can find them on Amazon or really any computer electronics store. But if you're running into problems with Bluetooth on your computer, a couple things you can start off with is extend this list and then right click. There is an option right here to update the drivers. You can select this option. Windows typically does a good job of keeping this up to date for you. In fact, if you go down to the Windows Start button and search for settings and open up settings, and then when you click on Windows Update, generally when Windows Updates runs, it will also check to see if there's any Bluetooth updates and list those driver options here. But again, you can also try this option. You can also disable the device. And then when you right click again, it will have an enable option. This will essentially restart it. And if you're still having problems, you can uninstall the device and then do a Google search of this specific Bluetooth hardware device that you are using and search for the downloadable drivers and you can install them manually from the manufacturer's website. Now, another thing you can do to troubleshoot is go down to the Windows Start button and search for services and open up services. And then on this list, locate the Bluetooth options and just make sure that they are running. If they are not, you can right click and there will be a start option. You can also try restart. Also, I would recommend, and this is for all of the Bluetooth listed options, go to properties and change it from manual to automatic, and then you'll click apply and okay. And then after that, go ahead and restart your computer. And if you're still having problems after all of that, I would go back to the Windows start button, search for settings and open up settings. And then if you click on system and scroll down a little bit, there is a troubleshoot option here you can click on and then go to other. And then you can try this Bluetooth option and hit run. And it may be able to give you some additional information that you might be able to work with. But if you go through all of these troubleshooting steps and you're still having problems with your Bluetooth device, I would go back to what I said earlier. You can purchase an external USB Bluetooth dongle and just buying that will probably solve most of your problems. Now to add or pair a device, go to settings again. Click on Bluetooth on the left-hand side, and then right here, just make sure Bluetooth is turned on. This could also be used as a troubleshooting step. And then you can click on Add, and then select whatever it is that you're trying to add from these uh, sections. And when you click on a section, it's gonna go ahead and search for any Bluetooth devices within range. It's gonna list anything it finds here. I don't have anything within range, but if your device is listed, you'll just go ahead and click on it, and then it will pair and connect it with your Windows computer. Please note for security reasons, when you are not using Bluetooth, you should turn it off, especially if you are out and about traveling or whatnot. It is a security risk. That is everything for this video, but if you do have any comments or questions, please post them down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please consider sharing it. And if you would like to support the channel, go ahead and hit that join button, the thanks button, the subscribe button, and that bell notification icon to get notifications on future videos. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great day.